Creating a smoking pit, also known as a smokehouse, can be a valuable method for preserving and cooking meat in a survival situation. Here's a general guide on how to make a smoking pit. Select a suitable location. Choose an area away from flammable materials and structures, such as overhanging trees or dry grass. Ensure that the pit is located in an open area with good ventilation. Dig a pit. Use a shovel or other suitable tools to dig a hole in the ground. The size of the pit will depend on the amount of meat you plan to smoke. A pit about 2 to 3 feet deep and wide should suffice for most survival situations. Create a fire pit. Adjacent to the smoking pit, create a smaller fire pit where you will build a fire to generate smoke. This fire will be the source of heat and smoke for the smoking process. Collect firewood. Gather firewood, preferably hardwood, such as oak or hickory. Hardwood produces better smoke and heat for smoking. Collect enough firewood to maintain a steady fire throughout the smoking process. Start the fire. Place some tinder and kindling in the fire pit and ignite it using a fire starter or matches. Gradually add small pieces of firewood to build up the fire. Create a smoking rack. While the fire is burning, find sticks or green branches to create a rack above the smoking pit. You can arrange them in a grid pattern to create a platform for the meat. Prepare the meat, season or cure the meat beforehand if possible. You can use salt, pepper, or other spices to add flavor. Ensure the meat is clean and free from any potential contaminants. Hang or place the meat on the rack. Hang the meat from the branches or place it directly on the smoking rack above the smoking pit. Ensure there is enough space between each piece to allow smoke to circulate freely. Cover the pit. Use a tarp, metal sheet, or any available material to cover the pit. The objective is to trap the smoke inside while allowing some ventilation to prevent suffocation of the fire. Monitor and maintain the fire. Throughout the smoking process, keep an eye on the fire in the fire pit. Add more firewood as needed to maintain a consistent temperature and smoke production. Check the meat. Smoking times will vary depending on the size and type of meat. Check the meat periodically to ensure it's cooking evenly and to gauge when it's fully cooked. The meat should reach a safe internal temperature to kill any harmful bacteria. Remember, smoking meat is a slow and gradual process. It can take several hours or even days depending on the thickness of the meat and the ambient temperature. Patience and vigilance are essential when using a smoking pit in a survival situation.